Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. I think I must be spoiling you because this is two tutorials in the space of one week, so maybe I'm getting back into my old habits, who knows. Um, in today's tutorial, what I thought I'd show you is something that's fairly pointless, it's just a bit of fun. It's how to change your GIMP splash screen. Um, if you're a little bit tired of seeing Wilbur's handsome little face and you want a bit of a change every time you open up GIMP, then I'm going to show you how to change your splash screen. If you're not sure what a splash screen is, or who Wilbur is, allow me to introduce you. Um, this is the splash screen, and this starts up, or well, this pops up every time you start the GIMP. And then obviously you've got the GIMP, and the handsome little devil is Gil uh, Wilbur himself. Now, what we're going to be doing is changing that screen, um, just to show off some of your own pictures that you're proud of, or some of the artwork that you've been making on GIMP, if you would like that to pop up every time you use GIMP, just to personalise it a little bit. Um, and as I say, it's just a bit of fun really. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to make um, a GIMP splash screen. Um, to do this really, all I'm going to do is choose a picture that I already have, and simply um, resize it so that's the right size. So if I go to my GIMP manipulations, uh, finished GIMPs, let's think, what have I not done? Um, sorry, excuse me. Let's... This one, peekaboo, I've not done that one. So this peekaboo image was one that I made on the back of the uh, Pan's Labyrinth thing. It's the same technique, just uh, rubbing out the eyes and putting them in the forehead. Um, but I don't currently have this set as a GIMP splash screen. Now, at the moment, you can see the resolution of this image is really quite large. This is a very large picture. Um, and this is far too big for a GIMP splash screen. You want your GIMP splash screens, uh, screens typically to be about 300 or 400 um, pixels wide in their resolution or 300 or 400 pixels tall in their resolution anything else is going to be too big so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to file and save as and I'm s no I'm not what on earth am I talking about I do apologize <laughs> I'm going to go to image and uh, scale image and I'm going to change the size of the image. Um, the quick way of doing this, let's say I want it to be 400 wide, no we'll say 300 wide, uh, 400 wide, why not? And then if I just simply click in the next box, if I've got that linked, if that link's broken then this won't work, but if you've got that linked then just clicking in 400 there you'll get exactly the same um, aspect ratio um, as if you know, you've just shrunk it down, but it hasn't sort of stretched the image at all. So I've got 400 by 316. I'm going to press scale, and there we've got the size that our GIMP splash screen will actually be. Then I'm going to need to save it, so I'm going to go to File and Save As. Now, for the moment, I'm just going to call it, um, let's say, Peak Peak a Splash. Why not? Peak a Splash, and I'm going to save it as a PNG just for the file size and I'm going to leave it in the GIMP manipulation uh, finished GIMPs for the moment um, but then what I'm going to do is just close down the GIMP and now I need to move it into a GIMP splash folder now this will only work on Windows um, if you're using GIMP on Linux or um, a Macintosh you're going to need to um, create a folder in a different directory the file folder structures are different, I'm afraid I don't know them off the top of my head, but I'll try and put it in the more information uh, section afterwards. Um, you're going to go to My Computer and C Drive, uh, you want to go to Program Files, and then you want to navigate to your GIMP folder, which will be called GIMP 2.0. Then you want to go to the Share folder, and GIMP, and 2.0, and then you should have this folder here. Now in this folder I've got two folders that you probably won't have, um, a splashes folder and a temp splashes folder. Um, you're going to need to make a splashes folder. To do that, um, right click, go to new and then folder and simply call it splashes. Um, I won't be able to save that because I already have one. So let's just say I call it splashes1 for the sake of not having an error message. Um, but I'll do
delete that. And in your splashes folder, obviously you'll have nothing to begin with. What you will have in your images folder, you'll have two images. You'll have this GIMP logo, but you'll also have something I've now put in my splashes folder, which is this GIMP splash picture. Originally, this is just in that image folder. And there you can see the, uh, the image that we've all come to know and love. Uh, or maybe not love if you're trying to get rid of him and um, that will be currently in your images folder as I said in this one but you want to drag it into this splashes folder um, because anything that's in this splashes folder will become your your splash images um, it will just cycle through them randomly um, you want to make sure you remove the splash image from this folder um, otherwise that will keep popping up you want to make it so it's in this folder in the splashes folder um, I currently have this temp splashes folder, and for those of you that are curious, all that is is where I've hidden my other splash images. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I wanted Gilbert, uh, Wilbur to show up. So now that I've got my splashes folder, what I'm going to need to do is simply drag the splash that I just made. Uh, let's see where I put that into that other folder. So if I just open up my splashes folder there and then find GIMP splash, wherever that one, oh peak and splash, there we go. And I'm going to put just drag that into there, nice and easy. And then close this down. Hopefully, um, we've got a 50-50 chance of this working now. When I open the GIMP now, either Wilbur will show up or my new splash will. So let's have a look. Oh there we go. Um, first time. So we've got our new splash screen. Um, and it's really as simple as that. Um, if I just quickly drag my eyelashes, my temp splashes into there, and you'll notice these are all 300 by 400 or 400 or thereabouts, so they, they're quite small images and they're all PNG files. If I drag them all into here, then we should have a nice varied array of splash screens. There we go, so there's a pop art image I made. Or we've got what else have we got? Uh, the Pan's Labyrinth one, and, and it's as easy as that. I mean, as I say, it's fairly pointless. It's just a bit of fun, but um, it just gives you a bit of variety on your GIMP splash screens. It just allows you to personalise it and customise it. So I think that's everything. I think I've covered everything. Uh, it's the trouble with doing tutorials off the top of my head. Um, the resolution has to be 300 or 400 saved in that folder, not available on Macintosh unless you find the right folder, yeah I think I've covered everything, you'll have to excuse me for rambling um, and that's it, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial <laughs> uh, I'm going to go and have a kip because I'm obviously far too tired to be doing this and um, I guess I'll see you again very soon um, thanks very much for watching